Hello, in this video we'll be taking a look at problem 1.6.9 asking Broberman. It's kind of got a long description here. Find the present value in a certain situation if the discount rate is cut in half based on assumed or known present values that are related to the force of interest. So lots of things going on here. The problem statement itself is not too long. It says the present value of k that's going to be payable in two years, so this amount, the future value of it in two years is k. The current or present value is 960. If the force of interest is cut in half, the present value becomes 1200. What is the present value if the effective annual discount rate is cut in half? All right, so again, not too long of a statement there, but there's really a lot going on here you got to think about. First of all, uh, delta would be the force of interest, and e to the delta would be the growth factor. The one-year annual growth factor would be equal 1 plus i. Go ahead and write that. e to the negative delta is going to be the, um, the present value discount factor. it's the same thing as V that we've seen in previous videos. To say the present value of K that's going to be two years from now is 960 is to say that 960 equals K times E to the negative delta squared, which is K times E to the negative 2 delta. If we cut the discount um, or the force of interest delta in half to make it delta over 2, the present value becomes 1200. And we can write this equation, which would simplify to this. Okay, so here's the, the two equations that follow from what we are assuming. If we're going to find the present value of k um, that's going to be, again, payable two years from now, based on cutting the annual discount factor in half, I think we better find k, and I think we better find the current discount factor. Let's see, can we solve this system maybe for, first of all, for e to the negative delta, which is going to be the same as v, which is related to this discount factor. Yes, you can divide, say, the top equation by the bottom one. You can write 960 divided by 1200, equals k e to the negative 2 delta divided by k e to the negative delta. The k's will cancel. If you check on your calculator, this is 0.8 over here. When you simplify this, this simplifies to e to the negative delta. You would take negative 2 delta minus negative delta, which would be the same as negative 2 delta plus delta to get an exponent of negative delta there. This is the same thing as um, v, the discount factor, which is uh, yeah, which is related to the discount rate, discount rate d as 1 minus d. So the discount rate here is 1 minus 0 0.8 is 0.2, or 20%. We're going to cut that in half to 10% in a minute here, but let's also find k. We can take this value of e to the negative delta, plug it back into this equality here to find k. k is going to be 1,200 divided by 0.8 which ends up equaling, let's see, 1,200, I'm dividing by 0.8 here, equals 1,500, yes. K is 1,500. The discount rate, D, is 0.2. Now, we're still not quite done. We have to now cut D in half to 0.1 and ask what the present value is in that case. So if we cut D in half, the new discount factor to 0.1, that will mean V is 1 minus D is 0.9, and therefore the present value that we are after is going to be K times V squared, 1500 times 0.9 squared. 0.9 squared is 0.81, so just multiply 1500 times 0.81. 1215 is the answer that we are after. That is the present value of k that's payable again two years from now if the effective annual discount rate is cut in half. In this case it turned out to be from 20% to 10%. Once again the final answer is 
12, 15.